Hi, welcome back. I hope you're doing great. And in this video, we'll be looking at the Viomi V3 or Vision 3 robot vacuum. If you're not familiar with Viomi, it's part of the Xiaomi ecosystem. So I've put it through a series of tests to see how it navigates, vacuums and mops, and the results were interesting. I'll share those and much more in this review. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish new reviews like this, and let's get started. The Vision 3 is Viomi's latest robot vacuum after the V2 that has more suction at 2,600 pascals and a larger 4,900 mAh lithium-ion battery, so it has better coverage. Another upgrade over the V2 is the ability to save up to 5 map levels. First, let's go through the features of this robot. I like the glossy all-black exterior with the neon blue accents. However, this finish can be a fingerprint magnet, especially the glossy areas, which isn't a deal breaker for me since it's easy to clean with a damp microfiber towel. The lighter sensor is at the back, similar to the Xiaomi Mop P that I believe is a similar product to this, with a slight downgrade with the battery and minus the 500ml water tank. This is just a hunch from what I've seen, but I'll do my best to get the Mop P and compare it with this robot vacuum in the future. The interface of the V3 is simple, it only has two buttons at the opposite end of the lighter, home and a power button that also fires the default cleaning mode. Most of the functionality is accessible through the app, which we'll look at later on in this review. Underneath, it has a single side brush and a combo brush between the two main wheels. Behind the brush is a seal that helps it make clean passes. One difference between this and the Roborock S5 Max is the side brush. The V3 uses the more traditional side brush with the bristled tips while the S5 Max has an old rubber side brush. If you ask me, I would prefer the latter as I believe it will last longer. Notice there are holes behind the main brush. These are slots for the two water tanks included in the package. So you'll get a 2-in-1 water tank slash dustbin combo for mopping and vacuuming, plus a 550ml water tank that's just for mopping. Another difference between the Viomi V3 and Roborock products like the S5 Max or S6 Max V is the option to choose between vacuum, vacuum and mop or mopping only the v3 will automatically detect which container you put in, Two in one dust compartment with water tank has been installed. but you still have to choose the setting manually it also has a fail safe feature where it will fire an error code if you use the wrong container for the mode you're trying to use this is the first vacuum i've tested that utilizes a y pattern for mopping so a Y pattern is a special mode for mopping where the vacuum goes in a back and forth pattern similar to an iRobot Brava. One difference between this robot and the Brava is it cannot distinguish rugs, so you'll have to remove them or set virtual walls if you want to avoid these areas. You'll get these items out of the box, two water tanks, a 2-in-1 tank for vacuuming and mopping, and a 500 ml water tank for mopping larger zones. Next is the mopping bracket with a washable pad and held in place by Velcro. You'll also get an extra washable pad and two disposable mopping pads. There's an extra side brush, so you'll have something to use just in case it wears out. Next is the charging dock with space underneath for stowing the excess wire. The option I got has the EU plug, but there are other plug options available as well. Lastly is the multilingual user manual. Next, we look at how this robot navigates. The Vision 3 uses slider and slam to map out and determine its location. So this robot has an advanced algorithm similar to the Roborock S series. It starts off cleaning the edges before proceeding to the middle portions of the room in a straight back and forth motion. One difference is the V3 gives users the option to choose between the standard S pattern, which is the default setting and is best used for vacuuming floors. The second option is the Y pattern, which is basically an option for mopping. So when you choose this, the robot will do forward and backward movements in a Y pattern. I tested this on red wine droplets I left overnight on tiled floors and I'm impressed by how it was able to remove the stains and leave behind very minimal residue. I mean, you don't have to do anything afterward. The back and forth motion definitely helped as it provides more agitation, which is very helpful in removing these types of stains. By default, this robot will go over the area only once. You'll have to turn on the secondary cleaning feature to enable this robot to go around twice, but this feature doesn't stay on, so you'll have to turn it on every time you want a more thorough clean. The V3 is also excellent when it comes to navigating tight areas under furniture. Not once did it get lost or stuck under a maze of chair legs. I like that it slows down so it doesn't hit furniture hard. So to test, I placed these two vacuums as obstacles and the V3 didn't hit any of these at full speed. It slows down and only nudges it. Also, there's a bumper guard in front of the robot so it reduces the risk of scuffing furniture. Next, we'll look at the test results and I'll start with airflow. The V3 had as much as 17 CFM at the highest power setting. 
It isn't far off the results of the Rover Rack S5 Max that did really well in the cleaning tests on all surfaces. Furthermore, it has higher airflow than the top of the line S6 Max V. It did very well on hard floors, picking up nearly everything in the forward pass. I tested the V3 in various types of debris, from fine sand to extra large stuff like Cheerios and Fruit Loops, and it was able to make clean passes. Cleaning sand on hard floors won't be a problem for the V3. It was able to pick up an average of 99.6% on two tests. And if you use the max setting, it pretty much picks up everything in its path. However, the side brush tends to scatter debris around, but it isn't as bad as the Roomba 690. Unfortunately, the high airflow doesn't translate well on carpet where the V3 struggles. I'm not sure why. One reason could be the backside of the robot tilting upwards on this surface. If you look at the clip, you can clearly see that the rear portion of the robot is sloped upward. This is something I noticed on multiple occasions, and the side effect of this is the brush not agitating the carpet as well as it should. If you look at the scores, it struggles most with heavy stuff like quinoa and sand. It was only able to pick up 12.5% of embedded sand in the deep cleaning test. Easily the worst score of all the robot vacuums I've tested. Otherwise, it was decent with lighter bits of debris like coffee, Quaker oats, Cheerios, and Fruit Loops, but the passes aren't as clean as it is on hard floors. Cleaning long strands of hair between 5 to 7 inches long is another struggle for the V3 on hard floors or carpet. On hard floors, it was able to pick up everything, but a big portion of it wrapped on a brush roll. Only this much went into the bin. On carpet, it also had a hard time picking up hair, and take note that I'm testing it on low pile carpet. Not much wrap on the brush or went inside the bin because most of it was left on the surface. I had to use the V11 Tor Drive to clean up the hair and it was able to pick up this much. With most of us stuck at home during quarantine, my wife gave me a haircut so as an experiment I tested how the V3 can handle much shorter strands of hair on hard floor. And for this test, it was able to pick up most of it. Just look at how much hair is inside the container. The V3 was also decent with the edge cleaning test. It was able to pick up a good portion of the coffee grounds I scattered on this area. However, the lack of passes and the round shape hampered it somewhat. The V3 is compatible with the Xiaomi Home app and this is how the interface looks after running the robot. Consumers will have access to advanced features like the virtual wall and restricted area. The virtual wall is similar to the invisible wall feature in the Roborack app that blocks the robot from going past the red lines on the map. Restricted area is a similar feature that blocks the robot from going into square or rectangular zones. You can use any of these features if you don't want the robot to go into carpeted floors or areas with rugs. However, it doesn't have the no map zone feature available in the S5 Max or the S6 Max V. Users also have the option to save multiple maps. However, the process is not as straightforward as the Roborack app where there is a quick start guide to add another map level. If you want to add a new map with Viomi, move the robot into a new location, run a default cleaning cycle, then save the map manually. Please note that you're only limited to 12 characters for naming rooms and spaces aren't allowed. Like what I've said earlier, the Viomi app has three options, vacuum, vacuum and mop, and mop only. As you toggle between these three options, sub-options will flash right below that control the power and water levels depending on what you select. So if you select the mop only option, only the water level choices appear. If you select the vacuum and mop, you also have the option to adjust the power setting in addition to the water level settings. Overall, I like the app. It's quite responsive and easy to use. There are some features I don't like. One example is you'll have to turn on the secondary cleaning option every single time if you want the robot to go over the area twice. And unfortunately, it doesn't go further than that. So it isn't as thorough as a Rover S5 Max that can go over the area up to three times. This is somewhat negated by the scheduling feature where you can set unlimited runs per day. Lastly, we'll look at noise. The V3 ranges between 59.4 and 66.4 decibels on the sound meter, so it isn't very loud. Though you can hear the max setting from outside the room, it's still bearable. To conclude this review, I'd recommend the V3 for people looking for a robot that can vacuum and mop hard floors. Even if it's not as thorough as the Roborock S5 Max, it has enough airflow to make clean passes on hard floors. One feature I like with the V3 is the mopping. It's the first robot vacuum slash mop I've tested with a back and forth mopping motion similar to a Brava, resulting to very minimal streaks on surfaces like tile. This pattern takes longer to finish, but the results are worth it. It provides users with the flexibility to vacuum, mop in vacuum, or just mop with corresponding containers. I wouldn't recommend it on carpet as it lacks agitation and even struggles with surface debris like sand and pet litter. If you have any questions about this product, 
please leave them in the comment section and I'll answer them ASAP. For more information about the Viomi V3, please check the links below. Like and subscribe if this video has been helpful to you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.